Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Well, first things first, I had to get out here and clear some of the jungle away from my solar panels. I haven't been out here in a few weeks to do that, and this grows up very quickly. And yesterday I noticed that some of this stuff right here was just about as tall in through here. And I was catching a little afternoon shade here, and it was taking fully, and I mean just the a little shadow through there, was taking 60 to 70 watts off my lower string there when under normal conditions without any shading. Uh, these two strings uh, work basically identically as far as uh, output. And then I had a little sh uh, shadow up there from that little red leafed plant there and I had to trim it back as well. So now I'm back in full sun and they're both uh, putting out almost to the watt the exact same power. Okay, so let's go in and take a look at that battery. So about a month ago, I introduced you guys to this VoltGo 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And we've made a couple of little shorter clips on how this thing is working. We've had it into production here over the past month using it uh, quite a bit and it has worked flawlessly. And a lot of you guys have said, hey, let's take a look on the inside of this and see what it looks like. So let's do that. So we know on the outside, it's got a lot of added features that we're not accustomed to seeing on the, these type of batteries this size. You know, it's got the on-off switch. It's got a, a battery state of charge, uh, approximate state of charge, you know, in 25% increments. So when you turn the power on, it will show you like right there that it is 100% full. And it doesn't usually go down to a lower until you, until you do get, I mean, it doesn't show anything more specific than the 25% increments, but it does give you a ballpark of what your state of charge is just at a glance. And we've left this on for a long period of time to see if that thing draws down much. And it really doesn't. We've left it on for a week with no charge or discharge going in or out of this. And it's just not hitting that battery at all. But we want to take a peek inside now. And it also has these COM ports, which I have not utilized. But for those of you that would want to hook up some comms to it, uh, I'll just give you another quick peek of that. You know, you'd plug in there. Same thing on this side. So, yeah, we haven't seen that before on any batteries this size that I'm aware of. But uh, that might be something you guys are interested in. Okay, we pop the 12 screws out, and here's what it looks like on the inside. Now, I have to say that I am definitely no expert in any of these components, and my main purpose in opening this up is for those of you that wanted to take a peek inside that were interested in this battery. As we know, it's a little more expensive than a typical 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, and it looks to be, you know, a really nice build. And I, I will point out what I do know what is what. And there's the, uh, the six indicator lights right there for your uh, approximate state of charge in the battery. Uh, that little thing there, I do not know what that is at all. And let me turn it around this way and show you. Here's the, the BMS. Looks like everything fastened in there is with stainless steel. And this is the BMS. And here's the the model number for those of you that you could pause that and and see what that is and then this right here I'm assuming is that for those com ports and we can see it 
Yeah, that is, because it's coming off of right here and going into those COM ports, which I showed you on the outside. I'll give you a... Those of you that know all these electronics will know what this is. I can't speak with any intelligence about that. But just looking at this, I mean, it looks very, very solid from my point of view. I'm not going to rip it out any further because I just don't feel qualified to be taking it apart any further than this. But yeah, that looks very, very nice. And what do we got here? We've got some... Oh, <laughs> that lid just fell over, but it's okay. Those say... What do they say right here? Looks like... I know I just saw it. Hmm. Six gauge? Eight gauge. Let me pause that and take a peek. Okay, those do read eight aug wires there. Those look the same. And these over here, they must be six. I'm trying to see if I can see any writing on there. Yeah, those look to be six, although I cannot make out the writing on there. But as you can see, the way everything is fastened down, covered with a little silicone. Nice and clean. Really nice. Everything looks really good. And like I say, this thing's been working just absolutely perfectly. So I really do like this battery, and a lot of you have been mentioning, yeah, but it's like twice the price of uh, a battery this size of what's available right now out there, largely, and that is true. And the other thing that I did notice on the lid, right in here you've got a nice rubber insert for when it gets screwed back onto the case, uh, gives you that water watertight fitting. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. I think it looks great. I mean, we've torn about parts some other batteries that uh, definitely didn't look this good in there. And I wish I could say uh, with a little more expertise about all of these various components, but I just don't have that information. And I don't know that much about the electronics. So what I can say is it's been working great. For the past month we have been using it quite a bit never one problem with it so yeah I'm trying to go slow enough for those of you that know what you're looking at can give it the eagle eye here all right well, one of the things that I said that I liked about this in the very first video was that it does have an accessible case. So for those of you that like to get inside of your case and make any adjustments or just uh, tear it apart even further, it's very easy to do. It went right back together. Easy. And let's make sure that I got everything right. Yeah, so there's those LED lights up. And this is a full battery. I pulled it off after it was charged up and now we're going to drop it right back into into production and i will continue to work this thing out and let you guys know if there's ever any kind of a problem i don't anticipate anything as it has worked absolutely uh, flawlessly so i'm curious have any of you uh purchased this battery because it does have a lot of uh interest and i'd like to know if it's working for you guys as well it's working out here and if that ever changes you'll be the first to know thanks as always for tuning in everybody 
Uh, one day I may know a lot more about tearing down a battery, but you know, that's really not my forte, but I did want to take a peek at that to see what the quality looked like inside. And from my perspective, it looked like a real solid build. A lot of you will be able to comment further on that, but yeah, it's working just great. Have a great day, everybody. Still waiting on some rain out here. Aloha.